What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the town of Sortland, also known as Norway's Blue Town. Now, if we take a quick look at the Wikipedia here, Sortland is a town and the administrative center of Sortland Municipality in Nordland County, Norway. The town is located on the east coast of the island of Lan Langola? Langoya? Along the Sordland Sundet Strait. Okay. Um, and in 1997, they decided to declare it a town status for the urban area of Sortland. So this is a town. There's a little picture of it. Looks like a beautiful little town. But really, the uh, special thing about this town that really grabbed my attention is that apparently it has a lot of blue buildings. So I want to figure out why exactly is that? What is the meaning behind that? That's very unique to have blue buildings. Now, from some of the other towns and cities I've seen in Norway, it does feel like Norway does like to have colorful buildings a lot more so than anywhere else I've seen, which is actually a really, really cool thing about Norway. Uh, if we take a look at the map really quick, this is where Sortland is on a map. It's very, it's north. It's not the most north, but it's definitely north, so it must be kind of cold during part of the year. And it seems to be on some islands, right? It's not It's not mainland Norway. It's on a bunch of islands or archipelago or... Okay, so now I have an idea of where Sortland is, and this is a very cool video I found that's going to explain the story of Sortland and why it's called Norway's Blue Town. So, let's take a look. A town in which many of the buildings are painted blue. Oh yeah, look at this. What the heck? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> do, do you even really need a reason to paint your town cool colors? Uh, no, but there there must be a reason, right? This is beautiful. Man, just the fact also, I, I say this all the time, but uh, these Norwegian towns that are like on the water with the mountains in the back, it's so freaking beautiful. So different to what you see in the United States. This, this is already just so beautiful and special. There's a blue cultural center, okay. blue apartments, huh. and even a blue bank. Yeah. <laughs> this is the curious tale of Sortland, wow. Norway's blue town. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I have never seen a town that's ever been like one color, ever, when I think of it. Blue, blue is actually very beautiful. It's very pleasing, very calming. The people living in this town must be very calm with all, <laughs> with all the blue, right? Uh. Sometimes when traveling, you come across somewhere that you expect to be completely ordinary, and yet it surprises you. Yeah. That's definitely the case with Sortland in yeah. northern Norway. Wow. Much like many towns in the Lofoden and Vestrolen area, Sortland is an ordinary small city that provides accommodation and services in... Well, I just want to take a look at this map really quick. I just got to say, I don't think a lot of Americans realize how many Norwegian towns and cities there are on islands. Like these islands that are all along the coast of Norway. Um, there's so many of them. And I don't think a lot of Americans realize this. I sure didn't. I'm actually really happy we're focusing on a town in Norway that's not very well known. Um, it's in northern Norway. It's on what like one of many islands. Uh, it must be quite an interesting experience growing up and living your life in these like more more isolated parts of Norway that there there's probably not as many people. You're really quite far away from stuff. It must be quite peaceful, quite nice. Living by the water as well, I can't even imagine. Huh. Sortland is an ordinary small city that provides accommodation and services in an area of outstanding natural beauty. Wow. 
Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is where you live and grow up. I can't, I can't even imagine. There's not a great deal else on offer. So the people of Sortland, and wow. one man in particular, try to put their city on the map. Oh, there's, I see a bridge. I see a bridge. Are there a lot of bridges connecting all of the tiny little Norwegian islands? Are there a lot of bridges? Or do you have to use like a ferry? Because I know ferries are common in Norway. I wonder. I don't know. For, well, something. Okay, Local so, so they're, <laughs> just real quick, they're saying that uh, this town, Sortland, wanted to become known for something, become famous for something. So they chose, like, they chose blue buildings <laughs> to become famous? Local artist Björn Elvenes came up with the idea of turning his hometown into a three-dimensional artwork using a blue color palette. Oh. Local journalists were initially pessimistic, huh. but the idea captured the imagination of the town's people. Okay. okay. One commenter okay. said, <laughs> It's like, that's good because um, <laughs> this is so funny. So the reason for the blue is so that Sortland can become known for something. It's, it's literally, <laughs> it's not famous for being blue. It became blue in order to become famous. It's like a, a never-ending cycle. <laughs> and the, the an artist proposed this, and the townspeople are okay with it. That's good, because if they, if they just turned this town blue and everyone living there hated it, that'd be really bad. Like, that'd be, that'd be bad. But it sounds like the townspeople really embraced the blue artistic vision. And <laughs> said... Sortland can't afford to waste money on nonsense, hmm. whereas others were more positive. Okay. A delightful madness and a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I like the it. The city is by no means completely blue, but enough buildings are blue to raise more than a curious eyebrow from visitors. Yeah, and it's a really, really good shade of blue, I gotta say. That's important. This blue is very inviting very calming um it's actually very beautiful it's very cool like i said i've never seen a town paint itself one color it sounds kind of strange at first but that's something i like about norway and norwegian people they seem willing to try some interesting things i really like that <laughs> There's also different shades of blue in use. Uh -huh. That's because of a falling out between Elvenus and the town council shortly after the project began. Oh. I'd love to hear what you think of Norway's blue town down in the comments. Oh, there are different shades of blue. But it's because the artist and the town council had a disagreement about the shade of blue? Oh no. Anyway, that's unfortunate, but... Uh, just as I thought, this town looks very, very cold. <laughs> it is far enough north, I see, that uh, when they were filming this, it is winter time, huh? <laughs> in case you're wondering, although this small Pentecostal church is indeed painted blue, the town's main Church of Norway ah. parish church does remain white. Okay. While in Sortland, I took a bus trip to the delightful fishing village of Nixon. Abandoned three times, this remote windswept community has been revived. To see why, watch this. Wow. Oh, this is another village. Man, these remote Norwegian towns are really cool. Um, not at all something you find in the United States at all. There's another video I have here real quick that I wanted to see. This is also about Sortland, talking about the town of Sortland, its history, and uh, its landmarks, and some other things. So uh, I'm curious what this video says about Sortland as well. And there's the blue. More than 10,000 people live in the municipality of Sortland, okay. and more than half of them live in the town itself. Sortland was first mentioned in documents in 1370, when it was noted that there was a church there. Yes. After that, not much happened in the town apart from being moved from one church parish to the another. I love... <laughs> it is so cool that randomly, in the background of every shot, there's some kind of blue building. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> 
after the Second World War, the town grew considerably. Okay. Today, Sortland is known as the Blue Town. Right. In 1999, the artist Björn Elvenes had the idea for the project and proposed it to the municipality. Uh, it's interesting how, like they said, they didn't get every building blue. That would have been really something. If every single building in the entire town was blue, every car was blue, everyone had to wear blue clothing all the time. It's just the law. No, uh, this is still very cool. Uh, there's enough buildings that are blue that it's, it's very, very striking, very different. It was very well received and preliminary works was started. Yeah. In 2001, there was a dispute between the artist and the municipality about the artistic direction of the project and the copyrights. Huh. Both parties continue with their own project. Oh, that's too bad. Oh. It, they, there was an argument between the artist and the town council about the copyright? Oh, it all, it, did it come down to money or control over the project? This is supposed to be some kind of wholesome community project. It's, it's unfortunate that there was like a dispute over it. The project was completed in 2006. Nice. It was generally well received. Yeah. The neighboring town of Stockmarkness envied Sortland and saw they should have done it themselves. Huh. <laughs> one, of the, one of the nearby towns is a little jealous of the blue idea. The towns nearby should just paint themselves a different color, like all red or all orange or something. The project doesn't just consist of blue buildings, but most of them have poems and quotations painted on them. Oh, And cool. other buildings that cost some... Oh, they have... Yeah, the buildings have poems and quotes on them? Is this... Is this a quote or a poem? Havana... Havneva... Nor olde Barnadine Gorpo Skolen? Some controversy is the one that says... 2150, sea level when your great grandchildren will be in school. The sea level <laughs> is marked with a blue paint. It's not where the text is written. Wait, 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 what? Sea level when your great grandchildren will be in school. The sea level is marked with a blue paint. It's sea level? Is he saying sea level? The sea level is the is where the blue paint is. That's how high, like, the ocean is? It's not where the text is written. Okay, cool. Besides the blue buildings, the biggest landmark is a huge bridge over the Sortland Sund. Yeah, I noticed this bridge. This is freaking gigantic. Is this what connects, like, Sortland to, like, the other islands and then, like, back to mainland Norway? It is high enough for the Hurtigruten ship to pass under. Wow. The northbound ship passes Sortland at 3 o'clock in the morning, and the southbound ship in the middle of the day at half past 12. Oh, this is what he's talking about. This is a gigantic boat. What is this for? Is this for tourism or like a cruise ship? This goes under that bridge every day? Okay. Just once again, I have to admire the background. Like, <laughs> it never gets old. Just this huge expanse of water and the, the nature and mountains in the background. It's ridiculous. Next to the bridge is the base of the Norwegian Coast Guard. Oh. Above Sortland is Sortland's marker. This is a large recreational area where Norwegians go hiking and skiing. Right. It is mostly used by locals and tourists rarely go there. Wow, very cool. Just all this open area and open nature. Like, I can see why Norwegians are so connected with nature. Americans are not very connected to nature and outdoors. Because we do not have anything close to this, where you can go across a bridge, uh, and just outside your town is this beautiful hiking area with rolling hills and mountains and water, and that is something very special about Norway. As mentioned above, Sortland can be reached by Hurtigruten and by bus. Okay. 
There is a large bus station in the middle of the town with lines to various destinations in Westerolen and oh. Lofoten. The closest airport is Stockmagnes, but most people <laughs> choose to fly to Evenes, which has direct flights to Oslo. I just love, I just love these blue buildings. I love it. I love that, I love that Sortland actually went through with this plan. Like, you, <laughs> there is no town like this in America that just <laughs> went through with it and paint, it sounds silly. Let's paint all the buildings blue. Like, most Americans would be like, what? But they did it, and it, it looks great. I love it. Stock Magnus, but most people choose to fly to Evenes, which has direct flights to Oslo and is such much cheaper. Okay, okay. The center of Sadla can be visited in about an hour. But there is much more to see in the surrounding area. Yeah, oh my gosh. There are a lot of islands around Sortland. There are so many islands. I did not realize. There are so many islands in Norway. Oh my gosh. It's also cheaper to stay in Sortland than in more touristy places nearby, such as Nixon. Okay. We hope this video was useful and you will... Wait, is this a sauna? There's a floating sauna? <laughs> There's just a floating sauna. <laughs> With that amazing background. Spend some time in this usually overlooked town. Wow. Check out our Facebook and Instagram for bonus content. And take some time to ah. browse our videos. You might find a new interesting destination. Very cool. If you haven't already, subscribe to... Wow, very, very cool. So cool. This video is by Explore Norway, and the first video was by Life in Norway, and I really, really enjoyed these. This was... Getting to see this small town was really special. Um, like I said, this really caught my attention because it's called Norway's Blue Town. And I was like, what does that mean? What? what? And sure enough, that's exactly what it is. It is a town painted blue because... The townspeople just wanted to do something cool and fun, and that's it. It was it was just to do something cool, and I I love that Norwegians did it for that reason. I, that's a great reason. Just have fun, to have something different and nice. <laughs> I absolutely loved this story. This is a amazing small town in Norway that uh, I I would never have heard of any other way. So I'm real grateful I got to learn about this today. Anyway. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on Sortland. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and learning and seeing things in Norway for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.